some question, um, some things that come up is, should we have a credit card together? Couples ask me, uh, what do you think about sharing a credit card, whether it's an authorized user or a joint card holder? Um, I, I think in general, it, it's a good idea. I think you have to wait until um, you know you guys are, are comfortable enough doing that. But what you're basically doing is is putting your your credit on the line. So you you have to really trust the person, and it goes back to to who who are you who are you doing it with? If it's someone who you know has had trouble in the past, and then you know it's a double edged sword because you want to help them, right? You want you want to help them improve their credit as quickly as you can. But at the same time, you want to make sure that uh, uh, they don't go back to their old ways. Um, I, you know, I think, you know, if, if you do trust the person, I, I, I think it's a good idea. I, I think it's a great way to help the other person build credit quickly. Um, you know, I, from what I understand, most, most banks no longer really offer, like the, the big credit card companies don't really offer joint accounts anymore. So it's more okay. of an authorized user. It's basically the same thing. Uh, the difference is only one person is actually on the hook for the debt. Oh, so okay. It's not on the hook, but in other, every other sense, it's the same thing. You both get a credit card with your name and a different number on it. Um, you know, you can typically see, you know, which purchases were made on which card and, and your, you know, basically your, your credit score will reflect the spending across both users on, on that account.